If you want to improve your French to the point where you can wow your conversation partners, you need to concentrate on learning spoken French. Spoken French has a lot of unwritten rules that don't exist in written French, and by learning them, you can sound more fluent and make faster progress. For example, there are some verb tenses that we don't really use in spoken French, even though you are taught to memorize them in school, like le futur. Let me explain. Today, we're going to practice a lot together, but I really need to explain a few grammar things first, like le futur simple, le futur simple. It is the tense in French for things that will happen, like elle mangera un croissant, she will eat a croissant, vous visiterez Paris, you will visit Paris, un, deux, trois, nous irons au bois. Un, deux, trois, nous irons au bois. Or even, je ferai du thé, I will make some tea. And you will find that tense in a lot of French media, novels and newspapers. But you know what? We don't really use it ourselves. French people mostly don't use the futur simple in real conversations. It sounds a bit too formal, a bit too heavy. In everyday spoken French, we would rather use another tense instead. Le futur proche, the near future tense. Like, je vais faire du thé, I will make some tea. Je vais faire du thé. Je vais faire du thé. Tu en veux? The future proche tense is a great way to sound more confident in French and to better understand real, everyday, non-formal spoken French. It's the point of my lessons and my programs, like the 30-day French challenge, where you get a daily practice of real French with colloquial dialogues and vocabulary and discussion of French culture each morning for 30 days. The next one is starting soon. You can check it out at the link right below. The near future tense is easy to conjugate. We form it using the present tense of the verb aller, followed by the infinitive form of the main verb. For instance, tu vas visiter le Louvre? Are you going to visit the Louvre Museum? Or elle va vivre à Paris? She's going to live in Paris. Your turn now. How would you say I will survive in the French future proche? Write down your answer or say it out loud or just think about it as you want. Did you get it? Yes, it is. Je vais survivre. I will survive. I am going to survive. Je vais survivre. Je vais survivre. Tant que je sais comment on aime. Je sais que je vais survivre. As you might have noticed here or learned in school back when you were taking French lessons, the French near future really looks like the English construction of I am going to, that we would use instead of a more formal I will or I shall. Your turn now. How would you say she is going to arrive in French? Try to guess. Even say it out loud, yes, right behind your screen, don't be shy, it is good practice and no one is here to judge you. That's the fun of these practice videos. So, we will use aller and the verb arriver for to arrive and it makes elle va arriver, elle va arriver, bravo! Now, the futur proche doesn't really look more simple than le futur simple. And it's true. Saying elle arrivera, she will arrive or she shall arrive, isn't much harder than elle va arriver. But that's just the way it is in everyday spoken French. Oui, elle va arriver. And at least there's one advantage. You only need to conjugate the verb aller. Then you can add any verb in the infinitive without any question of irregular verbs or strange conjugations. And you probably already know the conjugation of the verb aller in the present tense. And if you don't, that's okay. You will find them in the blog post for today at the link below the video. That's where you will find the full written lesson and more about the special rules of le futur proche and everything about le futur simple. Today, I want to skip ahead and practice together. Let's start with a very, very simple phrase. Tu trouveras une solution. Tu trouveras une solution. It is in le futur simple. Repeat after me. Tu trouveras une solution. Tu trouveras une solution. 
Here, as you can notice, I cut the E uh, in trouvera because that's the way we would speak in everyday spoken French. Tu trouveras une solution. It means you will find a solution. Yes, say that louder right where you are. Tu trouveras une solution. The future simple gives more weight to the sentence. It's the kind of French that we don't use in everyday life, but that's what you will find in songs or poems. To be fair, we do sometimes use le futur simple in everyday spoken French, mostly in a few expressions. For instance, on verra, we will see, on verra, repeat after me, on verra, on verra. It is the irregular conjugation of the verb voir, to see, voir, voir. On verra dans 10 ans. How would you say on verra in the near future tense? Say your answer out loud while watching this video. Do you find the answer? You can always pause the video anytime if you need to take more time. Here, the answer is on va voir. We are going to see. On va voir. We'll see. Here, on verra is basically an everyday expression that means we'll see, who knows. And that's why, on the other hand, on va voir sounds more active and assertive, like you're really making a plan to think about it or that you are going to find out very soon. We'll voir ça. Speaking of on, did you know that in everyday spoken French, we don't really use nous as a subject pronoun? We use on instead. I made a whole lesson about it that you will find in the blog post. For instance, how would we say in everyday spoken French, nous vendrons la maison, we will sell the house. Use the future proche to mean we are going to sell the house. Don't forget to replace the nous with on. And it makes, yes, on va vendre la maison. We are going to sell the house soon. On va vendre la maison. But what happens if we will not sell the house? How would you say on va vendre la maison, but in the negative in everyday spoken French? Try to say your answer out loud. Take your time. You can even pause the video. Can you guess? The answer is on va pas vendre la maison. On va pas vendre la maison. We are not going to sell the house. We won't sell the house. We simply add a pas between aller and the verb vendre. On va pas vendre la maison. In correct French or something that you learned at school, we should say on ne va pas vendre. We won't say with the ne. But as I often mention in everyday spoken French, we cut the ne in negative sentences. There is something else that I want to add between aller and the verb. It's an object pronoun like him, her, us or them. For instance, how would you say Michel and Alice are going to see them tomorrow. Oh, that's tricky. Think about it. I am going to give you a few hints now, but you can pause the video whenever you think you have enough hints to translate the sentence. First of all, the pronoun them will be les in French, in this case, okay? Then, tomorrow is demain, demain. Finally, the third person plural of aller is vont. Okay, you should be able to translate the sentence now. Pause the video and try to say it out loud. So the answer is Michel et Alice vont les voir. Michel et Alice vont les voir. Mm -hmm. Did you get this one? And for extra fun before our lightning round, let's try with a negative sentence and pronouns like ready? You are not going to do that to him. Ooh, that's really difficult. In the singular, how would you say that in everyday spoken French? While well, I'll give you some hints again, think about it and pause the video whenever you think you have the full answer, okay? So, some clues. The first hint is that to him simply becomes lui before the verb, okay? We also have the verb faire for to do. And of course, you in the singular informal French with friends is tu. Good. Finally, you have to know that pas comes before the pronoun in the near future tense. 
All in all, you probably have the answer by now. It is, that's difficult. Tu vas pas lui faire ça. You are not going to do that to him. Ooh, did you get that? Mais Vincent, mais tu vas pas lui faire ça. Now, let me be honest for a minute here. I've been going on a lot about how you shouldn't use the future simple in everyday spoken French, and that is mostly true. But really, it's not as forbidden as, for example, using le passé simple. We still use le futur simple sometimes, especially for events that are more certain to happen or further away in the future. What I mean is that, all in all, you should use a bit less futur simple in your French lessons and practice and more futur proche. It's more simple in general and can help you get confident in French and make more French connections. But you might still hear everyday French people saying things that are all in the future simple. Like, for example, Ah, je dois vous dire, je pourrais pas venir demain, je serai dans l'avion vers les Bahamas, mais je vous enverrai une carte postale. But let's recap what we've seen today. How would you say these sentences in le futur proche in everyday spoken French? Je lui enverrai un message. I will send her a message. How would you say that? Can you guess? Je vais lui envoyer un message. I'm going to send her a message. Je vais lui envoyer un message. Tu lui répondras? Will you answer her? How would that be in le futur proche? It would be... Tu vas lui répondre. Are you going to answer her? Tu vas lui répondre. Mm -hmm. Another one? Elle n'écrira pas avant demain. Can you guess? Elle n'écrira pas avant demain. She won't write before tomorrow. It is. Elle ne va pas écrire avant demain. And you can notice that I removed the ne. I didn't say elle ne va pas écrire avant demain. I said elle ne va pas écrire avant demain. Another one? Ready? Okay. Nous sortirons ce soir. We will go out tonight. Nous sortirons ce soir. It is. On va sortir ce soir. And as you can notice here, I changed the nous as well. It became on instead of nous in order to make it sound more everyday spoken French. On va sortir ce soir. Vous ne les verrez pas. You won't see them or you won't visit them. Vous ne les verrez pas. How would you say that in the future proche? Can you guess? Vous allez pas les voir. Vous allez pas les voir. Last one. Ils te rappelleront. They will call you back. Ils te rappelleront. They will call you back. Ils te rappelleront. How would you say that in the future proche? It is. Did you guess? Ils vont te rappeler. Ils vont te rappeler. Yay! Congratulations! And now you can rewatch this lesson to see if you can remember all the answers. Or you can keep improving your everyday spoken French with another lesson from Commune Française, like the one where I tell you why you should not say new in spoken French. Click right here on your screen and I will see you in the next video. Allez, à tout de suite!